It is Sandy's, Sandy's big, big birthday, do da do da. It is Sandy's big birthday, oh do do da day, oh do 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 day, oh do do da day. It is Sandy's big birthday, oh do do da day. Now who screwed it up? <laughs> Happy birthday, Sandy! Happy birthday, Sandy! Woo! Bye. Hi, Yarnabies. So today is a special day. I look like a jester. <laughs> Today is Sandy Duda's birthday. Sandy from Leftist Right Crochet. She's like seven years old. So um, I just want to say happy birthday, sweetheart. And I, I grant you every wish you could possibly want. One should be to get the hell out of 2020. But, you know, <laughs> that's your wishes. You're allowed to, you're allowed to pick whatever you want. <laughs> Okay, um, so I hope you got lots of birthday wishes and I've been dying to do that song forever and ever <laughs> and, and I was going to do it by myself and then George came home and I was like, hey, do you want to do this song with me? And it's like, yeah, okay. And then I, I sang it for him and then he messed it up. I messed it up the first time. I was just like, oh. okay, never mind. <laughs> it is what it is, right? It's, it's the Sandy and George show <laughs> all the time, every day. <laughs> so, so I hope you're having a wonderful birthday. You're, it's probably nighttime now. I don't know what time it is there. Maybe nine o'clock. So maybe your birthday's already over. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, I hope Mr. Wright is doing something very nice for you. <clears throat> you know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so... So happy birthday, sweetheart. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I hope your gift gets there soon. It should be there hopefully this week. I hope. I can't wait to see you open it. I hope you do a video on it, not just a, a live. Because, um, yeah, it's epic. It's epic. <laughs> so anyways, okay. I love you. Talk to you later. Hi, Yarn of Bees. I am back. So today is Sandy's birth, Sandy Duda's birthday from Left is Right Crochet. I am just so ecstatic, happy for her. I hope she gets lots of wonderful gifts and well wishes. I know that her yarny community is going to just give her lots of love. And uh, so it's going to be wonderful. So yeah, um, I have, I'm, I haven't been on in a while. Uh, I've been just doing 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 stuff as you can see I've got I've still got tons of stuff that I have to deal with here here and here and here and here um, oh and there's Tia <laughs> <laughs> um so I'm getting there I'm getting there but uh over there I have like right where is it right over here I have a map of the USA I and partially can. Africa. What? I want to see what your background looks like. Oh, it's it's not that good right now, but it'll get there. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, uh, Tia, can you do me a favor? Can you bring me the computer, please? Computer. Sure. I've got some stuff on there I need to read. Uh, so I've gotten a great response for for the. Um, Sisterhood of the Traveling Hook. I'm so excited about that. I've got, so far, I have 25 people. So if you're doing two weeks per person, it's going to be almost a year of traveling for this hook. So thank you so much. Um, and also I have, I got a, whoops, I got a message from... Oh my God, who did I get a message from? <laughs> uh, she's on, in Australia. <laughs> Tia's out the window making faces at me. <laughs> um, okay, so I got a message from, I can't remember if it was Judy Peace from Witch Peace Craft or if it was Squishy Ford from Say It Was Squishy. Uh, I think it was say it was squishy. 
she had mentioned that like she lives in Australia and she would l love to be a part of this. And I thought, oh, considering how long it took me to get Karen Wright's, um, was it Karen Wright? Yeah. From Australia, getting her gift there, it took over two months. So I thought, oh, I don't know about that. So my thought is, if I get a, a bunch more YouTubers from Australia say, hey, I want to be a part of this, what I'll do is I'll send a second hook to Australia just for them. Um, right now I've got three and then I've got somebody from the Netherlands. So that person will be looped in with the, with the Australians. Uh, so I'm hoping that, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I am really hoping that they, that the word will go around to our fellow Yarnies in Australia and I will get a few more, um, that'll make it worth it for me to send this hook out there. Okay. So I will give you a list right now of who is on my hook list. Okay, there's Colors of the Outback, Say It With Squishy, Witch, Witch Piece Craft, Brown Owls Crochet Fun, Cindy the Crocheter A, uh, Crafty Yarn Owl, Cindy's Crafting World, Lisa's Crochet, Ricola Crochet Corner, Whimsy's Creative, Creative, um... Where am I? Affordably Crafty, Cabin Fever Crochet, Charmed Grammy Crochet, Chronically Crochet, Crochet Chica, Hopeful, Hopeful Crafts, I Love uh, Loopy Crafts and Treasures, uh, Just a Crochet Sister, Left is Right Crochet, Metal Scrapping Chick, Nan's Next Knots, Sherry K Loves Yarn and Hook, The Crochet Clogger, Yarn Addict with Karen and Yarn It Out. Now, if there's anybody else that would like to be a part of this, let me know ASAP. And what I need from you is your first and last name and your address. And then I will get you on the list. And hopefully this will all go very smoothly. So on my map, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push put push pins on the map with the name of the uh, channel and then I can kind of trail it and figure out where I'm going to be going with this. So I'm so excited. Everybody that I've talked to has been just pumped about this. And uh, I'm, I'm really no, I know it's going to go really well. It's going to take quite a while for some of them to get the hook, but that's okay because that's the excitement. We're going to be able to watch all the videos of everybody and, uh, and then kind of watch it travel, you'll be able to see where it's going to be going. All of the videos are going to be in a playlist on my channel and, uh, and I will be, um, like whatever videos I do, I'm going to say, this is where it's going next. So keep an eye out on that channel and yeah, so it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be great watching this. Okay. So that is that. I got some happy mail today and I, I got a message um, from um, Debbie, the Canadian crotcheter. And she was saying to me that she had sent out or she, she had gotten a gift for, <laughs> she had gotten a gift for uh, the crocheters that are, were going to Stitch Fest 2020. Unfortunately, because of COVID, we weren't allowed to go. So she has been sending out the gift that she had gotten everybody. And I already saw Lisa from Lisa's Crochet. She put that out and I was just like, ah! So I am so thrilled to have gotten this bag. Stitch Fest 2020, babe. Yeah, it, it, I'm so upset that it didn't come to fruition, but you know, what are you going to do? Right? So this has got like a big pocket in the front. And I mean, this thing is huge. Like this will 
easily, easily uh, put a blanket in there. So when I'm working on my blankets, I will be able to put them in this bag. I just, I absolutely love it. Um, and I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. So thank you so much, Debbie. That was so thoughtful of you. Um, it was just, I just absolutely love it. Oh, hello. Oh, Mike, Mike. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh, now look at my hair. <laughs> Having hair problems. Hello. I want nachos. You want nachos? I want nachos. <sighs> I'm in the middle of a video and she wants nachos. When we're <sighs> done, can we make nachos? We have to go and buy the stuff then. Okay. Okay. My darling daughter has gone pescatarian. Ah. <laughs> I go, I've been calling it pescatalian forever and I'm going, what is a pescatalian? <laughs> So I'm trying really hard to get it right. I stayed up until 2.30 last night looking up recipes for this one, you know, because, you know, Christmas is coming and hopefully she's going to be coming home for Christmas and I she won't be able to eat turkey. So I'm trying to figure out there's a... We're getting a veggie turkey. A veggie turkey. <laughs> yeah. um, what the heck was it called? A tofurkian? Tofurkey. To tofurkian? Tofurkey something? Beyond I don't know. Turkey. Yeah, beyond turkey. <laughs> um, oh, hey, I forgot to cheers Sandy for her birthday. No, not at all. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's what I've been doing. So yeah. Okay. 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 Good talk. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, um, what else was I saying? I don't even remember what I was saying now. Bag. Mm, Sandy's bag. Yes, not Sandy's bag. Yeah, it's Sandy's bag, but Debbie sent it to me. <laughs> so thank you, Debbie. Um, you are the sweetest thing, I tell you. Um, I'm going to get a lot of use out of that. I really am. Okay, what have I been doing other than... Ugh, I look like hell warmed over right now because we had we did a big dump run. Um, so we, we went and dropped stuff off the dump. And yeah, so there's that. Uh, what else have I been doing? I have been doing this. I put this on my Instagram and my Facebook page and uh, a Car the Karen Canada, Karen, uh, Karen Cakes Canada or something. Um, I bought a couple of these, the Karen Cake Chunky Cakes, Karen Chunky Cakes. Hello. Uh, and this is in the colorway rice pudding. I wanted to see how many headbands I could get. I did the twisted headbands. I wanted to see how many I could get out of one cake. I was shocked. I got six. So... <sighs> They are, and they're all different. They're all different. Um, like this one's just slightly different, but it is different. And then this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and then the one I'm wearing. Uh, so they all came out really different. They're great. They are, um, they're a pattern. I'll link the pattern down below, um, or I'll, I'll link it up here. Um, it's an easy, easy, easy pattern. It takes maybe 15 minutes to make this. I kid you not. Uh, you can just like fly through these like crazy. Um, everybody at the craft fairs was always asking me, do you have headbands? And I was like, no. Um, and of course now that I'm making headbands, it's COVID and we're probably not going to have any craft fairs. So, okay, fine. So, and then I made this one, um, out of, I can't even remember. Crap. I forgot to bring the thing in. Darn it. But anyways, I made this headband. It's kind of a pink pink a salmon color 
and then I made another hat. It's, um, what do you call it? Um, God, I need makeup or something. I look terrible today. Like, seriously. Um, cluster stitch. That's it. It's a cluster stitch. So I made that one. And then, <laughs> that's Diesel. Diesel had a bad day today, so I bought him a toy. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I got a pattern, a paid pattern on Etsy. I'll link that one as well. And it's a witch's hat. It's called the Twisted Witch Hat. So I'm in the process of making that. This is going to be all twisted up. I'm not exactly sure how she's going to do that. If there's going to be uh, something or other in there, like a... Uh, what do you call these pipe cleaner kind of thing or something i don't know what what she's gonna i haven't read that far into the pattern but anyway so this is the the top part it's like this far and now <laughs> i know, I, know I look like a teletubby <laughs> um so that's how far it is and so i've got a little ways left to go <laughs> Uh, and I did this in cookie yarn and the cookie yarn is from Hobie. Let's see, cookie. What the heck? Oh, Bailey's having a hissy fit. Um, the color is just a, it's just a number. It's 46211. I don't know what she's barking at. She's been barking at air lately. Um, but I just thought these colors were amazing and I just had to make the hat out of that one. So I'll show that to you when I am done. Also today, I'm, I'm kind of like all over the place today. I'm doing like yarn hauls and, and FOs and all that kind of stuff all in one because I haven't seen you guys in a while and I'm not, I, I can't make like three different videos for stuff right now because I'm just too busy. Tia's going to be leaving in a couple of days. I'm going to go and see my sister tomorrow. So we're busy, busy, busy. Anyways, I got a, a Hirschner's order today. I was so excited to get this. This yarn I have been putting in my cart and taking out of my cart and putting in my cart and taking out of my cart for ever, for months. And finally, I bit the bullet and said, no, I'm going to do it right because they were on sale uh they are on for 2.99 so i don't know why i procrastinated but i did so this is the stellar and look at this color oh it's so pretty and it's got the sparklies in it can you see the sparkles this colorway is lunar eclipse and I got 10 of them. I'm hoping to maybe make a sweater. So, as I got like, I got lots and lots, I, lots. And then this one, I was kind of like, mm, I don't know. I thought, well, it's a novelty yarn. I'm, I'll try it. Maybe I'll mix it with something else because I hate small yarn. And it is, it says it's a five, a bulky five. And I had to laugh when I saw that because this is no bulky five. This is called Boogie Nights. And look at this. That is not a bulky five. That's like a three, maybe a four, light four, if that. Like seriously? What are they thinking? And look at how small the ball is. I honestly, I thought that it was going to be like this size. Nope. So I got, how many of these? I got five of these. So I don't know. Maybe I'll mix it with uh, a black yarn or something. And uh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So. But, but this, this one, I'm just so pumped to make a sweater out of this. This is going to be a lot of fun to make. What else? 
What else? What else? Tia, what else? Um, she's sitting outside the door. She's got the gate up so the dogs don't come in here. Oh, today. The incident that we had. My God. We went for a little walk. And I've taken this walk a couple of times. No big deal. Right? Diesel, my grand puppy, decides to find something that was totally unexpected. He went over to a tree and he was going to smell the tree. And he stepped on a pile of pine needles. No big deal, right? Until we looked down. It was an anthill. Massive, massive anthill. And those suckers came to the surface like right now and was attacking his legs and his paws and he was freaking out and Tia's trying to get these ants off him. They were biting him and they were just like, he was losing his mind. And he's a 75 pound, 76, yeah. 76 pound dog. And trying to control him, not a chance. <laughs> and so Tia is trying really hard to to help him and he's jumping all around you know and it was like oh my god i'm holding cups of coffee you know and my dog and i can't help so finally she got him calmed down and it was like that thing was crawling if i can put a video clip of the anthill in there i'll put it in now that's like ew <laughs> massive <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I'm getting itchy. And grand puppy stepped in it. He's not happy. <laughs> Ugh. But it was just, it was, it wasn't even a funny situation. You know, you kind of think, oh yeah, you know, no, it wasn't even funny. We, we were, Tia was in a panic because they were biting him. And it was like, they were everywhere. They were everywhere. And I was just going, holy crap. Like, and I'm thinking, oh. <laughs> whoops, <laughs> whoops, beep. <laughs> um, I was thinking, I was worried about Bailey, right? Because if they got into Bailey's fur, I would never find him, right? And I would not be able to help her. So, um, yeah, so that was a bit of a situation. So, but we got him all dealt with and now he's probably going to need to have a bath after I cook dinner and uh yeah so it's that was a bit of a day oh man yeah <clears throat> so uh, I woke up one morning and my neck was bugging me and my rib my front rib it, it was like I thought I had a rib out um but I think it was the um sternum I think it was the sternum the rib might have come away from the sternum or something but anyway I was in a lot of pain and then I went on to Sandy's live and Kelly uh, crochet pink uh, pink crochet uh, crochet me pink Kelly had said something I can't remember what it was but she made me laugh so hard oh my god I the the pain in my neck was severe and Tia was trying to rub it it's trying to get the muscle to relax and it was just like nope not having it so I ended up I was in so much pain I it was crazy so I had to go to the chiropractor and get that dealt with and then now it's this side except now this side it's it's not in my trapezius muscle. It feels deeper than that. It's not something that you can massage out. And it's affecting, like if I'm yawning or if I'm coughing or if some, the, the pain, it just shoots right in there. And I'm going, holy crap, what have I done now? I did buy a new pillow. So that could be the cause of some of it. Um, also, my shoulder, it... I think what happened was when I'm sleeping, 
when, when George isn't, isn't in bed, I hug his pillow. So I think when I have my arm over, oh, that's how I did that. that. Yeah. When I was sleeping the first night, what I do is I'm spooning George. I know TMI. Um, I put my, my, my arm under his pillow and then I lay like that. And I think that's what did the whole rib thing and all that. So now this time <laughs> I, I was hugging his pillow and I think that really messed up this the whole thing here. So I have to go to the chiropractor again <laughs> and say, okay, fix this side now. <laughs> so uh, I don't know what else I've had go on with the lady at Michael's. The lady at Michael's. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I was at Michael's and oh, I wanted to get some yarn. Actually, it was this yarn, the Karen cake, but I wanted to get the three pack because it comes in packs, right? And it was up way high. So I asked her, I said, you know, can you get that down for me? She said, sure. She came around, she stayed six feet away from me, and then she says, oh, can you go to the end of the aisle for me, please? I'm at the beginning of the aisle. She wants me to go way down, like 20 feet down to the end of the aisle. I looked at her and I said, are you serious? She says, yeah. Uh, I'm thinking to myself, we're supposed to say stay six feet apart, not 20 feet. You're going to make me go all the way down to the end of the aisle because you don't feel comfortable. Oh, I was furious. I thought if you and she had a mask on, you know, and everything. And I thought, you know, if you're that scared, then don't go to work. You know, like seriously, that is ridiculous. So yeah, I, I went out of there and I was, I almost talked to the manager. I just thought that is asinine. You know, I understand that people are worried about catching the COVID or whatever, but you know, there are rules in place. Some people take it way too far, way too far. And, uh, you know, I've had other people at Michael's that come right up to me, you know, and talk to me. They have a mask on. It's all good, right? So they come right in my freaking space. And, uh, but her, uh-uh. She went the complete opposite way. I just, I thought, oh my God, get me out of this store. You know, so I haven't gone back. I'm just, uh-uh, not, I, I will not deal with her. Right, so. And it's all because I wasn't wearing a mask, I don't think. Because she went up to another person that had a mask on and she was less than six feet. So I thought, you know, whatever. <laughs> I just, I just about lost my mind on that one. I got back in the truck and Tia's like, what is wrong with you? And I'm just like, ah! you know, steam coming out of my ears, I, my head spinning. You know, I am so sick of COVID. I am so sick of it. I want it over. I want it done. Um, like I want to be able to hug people again. I want to be able to socialize with people again without them looking at you like you have the freaking plague. Like I am so tired of it all, you know. Um, but anyways, I'm sure that you guys relate. But anyway, okay, enough said. Um, I think that's everything. I think. Uh, I will probably come back on in a few days. Oh, I'm taking another color class, uh, carpet color class on the 24th and 25th, uh, with somebody else that hopefully will be able to teach me how to do this without frustrating me. Um, so I'll tell you how that goes. And yeah, so I'll do another video after Tia goes, she's leaving on Thursday and I will talk about what? I don't know. Sisterhood of the Traveling Hook, probably. Um, maybe I'll show you the map once, it, once I get the push pins 
on it and yeah I'm excited okay guys that's all I have to say today it's been 20 some odd minutes 28 minutes so I think I'm good <laughs> Okay, I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. Thank you. Nacho time. Nacho time. Yay, I get to go shopping. Like, yeah, okay. I love you all. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Wait for it. Okay. It, it is Sandy's, Sandy's big, big birthday. <laughs> <laughs>